afternoon and welcome. This is the online science tutor. In this channel, we teach basically the three main sciences that has to do with calculations in the uh, secondary school level. So we'll look at mathematics, topics in mathematics, we also deal with some topics in physics and then chemistry, and as the case may be. So for today, we'll be, we'll be looking at mathematics, and it's basically an introduction to mathematics, an introduction to mathematics. So today, we'll look at the numbers, because everything in science can be traced back to maths. So every other of the sciences derive their bearing from mathematics, and that's why it's very important that we take our time to look at mathematics critically because you'll be working with numbers so even in physics when you are doing calculations you'll be working with numbers some of these numbers will be odd some of them will be even there are times you also do some basic mathematical operations such as addition subtraction multiplication and division so having a basic understanding of what mathematics is and the various things you'll be working with is a foundational knowledge which is why for the very first um, video we're uploading for this series we are looking at mathematics and then on the mathematics we are looking at numbers so let's begin So we're looking at numbers. So when a person writes, for example, the numerals, we know one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to stop here because we're restricting ourselves to the ones, the ones. So in numbers, these first nine numerals are the ones. They are the number you will find in every number written. They are the number you find in the ones place. So, and of course, zero. So, these are the numbers you find in one place. So, for example, if I'm writing 2002, for example, the number in my ones place is the two which is also back to our integers. And then every other number is made up of these basic numbers. So the more we keep progressing, we'll start writing in tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions, you'll keep finding out that every number derives its naming from the ones. So if you are able to constructively study the numbers that are in the ones place, if you're able to know their rules of, div of division, if you're able to know how they multiply, it is going to give you an edge in solving for every other science that you see numbers reflected. So today we'll basically look at even numbers. Even numbers and odd numbers. Even numbers and odd numbers. So for an even number, we say that an even number is a number that is divisible by 2. So these are numbers. These are numbers. That are divisible by by two whose remainder will be zero. So for odd for even numbers, there are numbers that are divisible by two whose remainder will be zero. So any number that can conveniently be divided by two without any remainder because zero means nothing. So 
any number that can be easily divided by two without any remainder is an even number and so therefore we also can imply from that that every multiple of two is going to be an odd number so every multiple of two for example four six eight ten twelve fourteen and all the way down any number that if i divide it into two equal parts i'm going to have separate two separate uh, identities without any remainder it's an even number and then so i can also say numbers that can be divided by two without any remainder e.g. 6 divided by 2 will give me 3 so there is no remainder then 9 divided by 2 will give me 4 remainder 1 therefore 9 is not an even number then odd numbers are those numbers that cannot be divided by two without so odd numbers are those numbers that cannot be divided by two without a remainder so for all odd numbers anytime they are divided by two they leave a remainder and the remainder is always one so for all odd numbers when divided by two, they have one as they are remainder. So any number that if I divide it by two, they have one as a remainder. They are all odd numbers. And examples include one, three, five, seven, nine. And all numbers that end with any of these numerals. So for odd numbers, odd numbers are those numbers that when they are divided by two, when they are divided into exact two parts, they will leave a remainder of one. And that one is the reason why we say they are not even numbers because the remainder is not zero. So that also um, implies that anytime an odd number is divided by two, it, it will always leave a remainder and that remainder will be one. So for examples, we have one, no, we have one, we have three, we have five, we have seven, we have nine. And also, when we progress from the ones, for example, we we'll progress from one digit and into two digits, for example, and we are looking at numbers that are in their tens. Any number that ends in any of these odd numbers that we have given will also be an odd number. So, for example, 101 will be an odd number because the last digit is 
an odd number. So if I'm trying to identify a number and I'm trying to do a division, for example, and I'm, I'm doing the division by, say, the number two, I will look at, what I'll look at basically is that I'll look at the number that is in one's position. If the number that is in one's position is an odd number, I know that automatically that number is an odd number. But if the number that is in one's place is an even number, I know that that number will be an even number. So I want you to have this basic understanding as we keep progressing so that when we start um, working on the rules of divisibility and we are looking at, okay, how can I identify what my answer should be? If an odd number multiplies an odd number, what will be my final answer? If an odd number is subtracted from an even number, what will be my answer? So that when we start doing all of that, we can know exactly what you're talking about. So when I say an odd number, I would expect that you know what an odd number means. So I hope you've been able to learn something today from what we've discussed so far. If you have any questions and then there are areas that are not so clear to you, whether in this particular um, study or any other point in mathematics, please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section below. And don't forget, always subscribe to this channel, like this if you've gotten value, and share with your friends. Do have a very wonderful day.